Okay, welcome to a second video looking at perfect competition. And in this one, we're going to focus on how we end up at an equilibrium in the long run where normal profit is made. Let's start off with a situation where the existing representative firms are making short term supernormal profits. The price is above the average cost of production. And here would be our scenario. The market price set by the market is P1. And that price for this profit maximizing firm is sufficient to make a, quite a hefty supernormal profit there shown by the shaded area in blue because the price P1 is above the cost per unit C1 at the profit maximizing equilibrium. So you need to be able to show how the market adjusts towards an equilibrium. Well, if most firms are making supernormal profits, we expect that to be a signal for new firms to enter the market. And if they enter the market, the market supply curve will shift outwards, in this case from S1 to S2. There's an increase in the number of firms, each producing a standardized product. Other things being the same, Keteris Paribas, if there's no change in market demand, then the equilibrium price will fall following that shift in the supply curve. So the price will fall to P2. That then becomes the price taken by each firm in the market. So P2 now becomes the, the average marginal revenue curve for each firm. AR2 equals MR2. And this leads to a lower profit maximizing equilibrium where MC meets MR at output Q2. At this price, the price equals the cost per unit. Because we include normal profit in average cost, then we can say when price equals average cost, normal profits are being made. Uh, as shown by this diagram. Prices essentially are competing away uh, the, the profits. What about firms making a loss in the short run in perfect competition? Well, if most firms are loss making, or if the majority of firms are not covering their costs, here's a scenario we had in a previous video where the price P1 is insufficient to cover the unit cost of production. Hence, that blue area shaded is the loss per unit multiplied by output. Well, if that's the case, then typically firms will tend to leave rather than join the market. There'll be a net loss of suppliers to the market. If that happens, the market supply will shift to the left. S1 will shift to S2. And if that happens, then the market price goes up to P2. That becomes the demand curve for each firm. And you can see that price rises uh, to an equilibrium sufficient for, again, the marginal firm in the market just to cover their costs per unit. So the price, the exit of firms from the industry drives the market price up back towards a normal profit equilibrium in the market. In this case, the output of the firm will be Q2 and at Q2, the price P2 is just equal to the unit cost of supply. Normal profits are being made. 